my god, I met you a few days ago, but you are for me already an, an inspiring man, inspiring person in many ways, but one of them that is your lifestyle, your diet, that you have been eating only raw food for 44 years. And for me, it's like the, you are the person who stick with the diet, diet this long. So it's longer than I lived. So it's, I cannot even, even imagine how long it is. So it, it's inspiring me and I think you can inspire even others to share something about your raw food journey and how was it or how it is currently. So maybe we can start with how did you get into the raw food? Mm. Yeah. I think I'm an idealistic person. I'm looking for the best. And at that time, so I was, it is 42 years, 42 years younger. And I was looking for what will be the best for me. Not only this body, but my existence, how I can make it, I can, how can I give a base to this incarnation in this life? And I decided to start with the food. The food is, is we are eating. We are taking the world from outside and we put it inside. So it is obvious for me that I should start by it. But what is the best food? I was asking to me. Everyone wants to eat the best food. Some consider the taste buds, some consider some physical or metaphysical principle. How can I choose? I tried many things, I studied many books, I had many thoughts, but I don't know why it took me so long. It took me many years, maybe three or four years to, of research. It is obvious. If you want to have the best food, you should eat raw, as the nature gave it. Not even raw gourmet with that, you know, a plate that is maybe warm with some shredded, I don't know, cucumbers and all decorated and mixed with sauce. I don't see it as bad. My idea at the beginning was to eat as any other animal. They, they see the fruit, they take it from the tree. Smell it, it is right. Is it from a good tree? Seem to be good. According to their nature, they peel it or they eat it, they bite in it. If they are vegan, if they eat fruit and vegetable, if not, well, they bite in the animal that it is their prey. It is, it is a simple act. So, it is how it starts. And for most of us who, who are trying these diets that are not that common, there is to be some bigger change in our life to discover this new way of living. So what was it for you to even start thinking about it? Well, I was a young philosopher. What I want is to take my life in my hand and decide what I want to be or what it came later to reveal my true nature. I want to be myself, but fully myself. Each one of us have motivation. Maybe some people could be sick and looking for a better diet, or they are afraid to be sick. This is not the best uh, motivation, but it is a, a strong motivation. 
It could be maybe to be beautiful or healthy during all your life. It may be a more superficial motivation. If you have a deep motivation, you look or I have to look, you know, for the best substrum, the best base for my life. The best food, this best food is raw, obviously. After that is all the details. It needs a certain uh, commitment to this idea that that came in my mind. I'm looking for the best in this existence. I will start by the food, the best food. It is possible to find what is the best food for human being. I did it. Then I just have to try it. And how how I react to it. And is this the second part? Maybe <laughs> seem to be more difficult, but in fact it is easier if someone have already um, a strong intuition that he she have to do it to make this life that was starting at that time a success without knowing what would be the success. But that is having it's a bit like we some people study. I study. I the one that have the courage to study think that all this knowledge will be a good base for the future. Eating raw food <laughs> I've convince myself it's something good to, to start. And did you start, was there some period of transition or how did you even eat before? Oh, I, before I was eaten, eating, I was also vegetarian and I was preparing everything. I was involved in the art of cooking, but healthy in my journey. Before eating raw, it was not a preparation to eat raw, because I didn't know that I was going there. So I didn't prepare myself. At the moment that this thought arise in me that I should eat raw, I just try. Very important is the commitment. I said I will do it one month. I went with my girlfriend and I asked her, would you like to try it also with me? And she was a little bit in that move also. So she said, yes, it was in the month of July in 1981 in Quebec, Quebec city. And we had at that time fruit and vegetable coming from this is the summertime, so it was easy to find good raw food, mostly vegetable that I could eat. I just bought some salads and, and cauliflower and broccoli and tomatoes, you know, and I tried to eat them raw as they are presented, you know, in, in the nature. It was a little bit strange at the beginning because you have the raw taste <laughs> of it. Or maybe the broccoli is a little bit bitter. Ah, uh, this cauliflower is maybe not as sweet as I would like. Uh, this tomato is excellent. Adjustment also in, in the mouth. I'm asking her, do you feel the same? Oh no, I think the broccoli is it's fine. Huh? That it is not the same. 
a lot of adjustment, a lot, a lot of adjustment. And I've experienced at the beginning the feeling of boring. Well, it's not boring. This is not extraordinary. But the taste buds were not adjust. And I, uh, I didn't have the fruit like we have in tropical countries. Um, but it is what is available where I am on the planet. I start by it. And commitment is very important. One month, in my case. Any change you do, it's about one month. We say three weeks for 21 days to 40 days. It is known since the biblical time, this up to 40 days. If you commit to something, do any action, after that length of time, you become to be a little bit happy. During that time of transition, is it someone might have to struggle with some desire or a dream of certain taste. We are talking about food now, but it's okay. Someone can commit for this short period of time. So the first thing to others you would recommend to have very strong commitment and just to trust uh, based on the information you found somewhere that guided you towards this diet. Just try it by yourself to others. And then what you did after one month, what was the next motivation that kept you going? Um, the motivation after one month is the, the result, the change. Uh, my mind was clearer. I was kind of brighter. I was able to grasp the world more precisely. I felt my mind-body relationship with the world was enhanced. I was more myself, but I didn't label it like this. I felt that I had more capacities, you know, for riding a bicycle. This is what I was doing uh, as a way of transportation in Quebec City. That means I was <laughs> pedaling faster. I was more aware of everything, ready to jump with my <laughs> bicycle. Life was more pleasing, was more extraordinary. You should understand I was not depressed before. I was all right, I was normal. Then after one month, kind of inner joy came. Wow, life is great. This is a great summer. It was probably an ordinary summer, <laughs> but I understand it as something great and I attribute that to the way that I was eating. And I decide, you know, well, this is why well, this is the beginning of the well, middle of this summer, the summer I'm quite short over there. Let's do it another month. I didn't commit for decades, you know, just another month. They will reach about the university time and I will see. And the other one have been very easy. And we have a little bit more varieties and the apple come and the melon, they begin to be in season. Oh yeah, wow, this is great. It seems the artist, this melon tastes better than the one of last year. We got already a kind of little detox was there. I was 25 years old. I was not fully intoxicated by my food or by the time of on earth. 
I was a guy that was taking care of his health and not smoking or taking alcohol. But still, the taste buds begin to react more actively the second month. So much easier to do it. And the same benefit, you know. I noticed first that the skin of my girlfriend was a bit softer. It's nice. I didn't notice my own skin, but you know the story. I will continue. And eventually she will say, oh, your skin is much softer. Soft skin is not about a kind of criteria of beauty or it shows the state of the organ inside. Uh, and if you have a soft skin, that means your skin is um, super healthy. And, and if you study a little bit biology, it means that your organ, because they are made from skin, you, you cannot touch it, obviously, they are more healthy. It goes together. This is a, a, a sign that cannot lie. Little details like that. And, and the inner joy. And I said to myself, I will study with this. I mean, I will continue my university with this diet. And I did. I had to less take time to study because I was better to record all that, to ask questions, to be more abstract. I spent less time in uh, working on it, on these studies, and had better result. This is what any university student, any student, want. <laughs> Being more joyful, having more time to be with the others or with myself. Or at that time, I was doing taekwondo, so so practicing that art, having more fun. Everything was more interesting. Why stopping? I decide. I'm not going to stop. I will continue. We'll see what will happen. Yeah, so it looks like you got uh, many affirmations that it's helping you. Like you mentioned, you saw some health benefits, even memory benefits, and maybe some other benefits. But this was during the summer, so how was it your first winter? In <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> I suggest that if you live in a country that you have a strong winter, start in the summer. <laughs> because, of course, in the winter is another story. In our case, most of what we are eating there in Canada are imported from the United States, the hotter part of the United States, but then Mexico and the everywhere in the world. We have a lot of diversity, even the full winter. We have enough money to pay that. But <laughs> the taste is not perfect. But there is possibility to do something, you know, I was parting, I was going. There is some books, you know, that help you to stay there. I mean, stay in, uh, in this winter season with good vegetable that you can grow indoor. The commitment was before I saw the result. I continue. More the months were passing, more I was rooted in this commitment. It works. It is the what I'm looking for. My taste buds can notice the difference between this carrot and the other carrot. Okay, maybe I will buy this one or this brand 
or when they are that color, maybe it means this. I begin my journey of adjusting. And I find it normal. I'm not coming from another country. I'm coming from that country at that place in the world. I'm that animal, a human being, me, that will be adapted to this country in my time. In my time, we import stuff. Dry fruits, dates, uh, apricot. We are not growing them, not even apricot in, in, in my country. But we can have very good dry one from California, organic and wild. Yes. It's possible. I discovered that. I, before, I didn't know. Before, dates, yes, good. But what is the difference between Declet, Barry, Medjol, date. I made, I understood the difference <laughs> and I bought it by big box of five, ten kilos. Why not? Why not? And learning, oh, I'm super attracted to eat a lot of them. But then, if I'm eating too much, I feel a little bit strange. Better to eat salads and all that, you know, at the beginning. And after that, eat dates and maybe, maybe <laughs> I should control myself. Handful, okay. <laughs> A pile like this, <laughs> no, no. I learned, I learned what was working for me. Before you said, um, you take information here and there and you try. It was not exactly that. I had the framework. Before I was doing, I was combining the food. Um, not eating this with that because it might be difficult to digest uh, or heavy. Difficult to digest means just heaviness. Uh, so I've tried it before when I was eat, eating cook. And I found the books available for a raw food diet. So I applied that princ this principle. It is one of them, eating dry fruit only at the end of a meal of vegetable. There is many, many conditions that I can explain in another video, but this has guided me a lot. And I was not even eating everything with everything in a certain order, in a certain way. And also I was making mistake by weakness or voluntary to test how it, how it is in my body, how I react to it. And I was discussing with my girlfriend, you know, because she has continued with me. I believe it was also love bonding, you know, sharing together. But if you have the chance, it would be also a good thing to start with someone that you love or with a small community, small or big, that can support you. It's much easier. Mm -hmm. So I had some guidelines. It has helped me a lot. But during that winter, I noticed that I begin to have night dreams of my previous food. And some hallucinations sometime in the day of some dishes that my mother was preparing when I was young. At that time, she, you know, I was not eating it anymore. But it seemed that the memory and some part of my personality was hooked to that past and want to make it come back. It was important for me to stay strong on my commitment and go over it. I predict that it will disappear after a time. And it did. Maybe something like one or two years. But 
just it is night dreaming or during the day. No, nothing. In my case, I know that some people may be struggle more, but I was so enthusiastic about it. <laughs> so I, 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 I spoke with everyone around, you know. They thought that I was a little bit change, and I lost 90% of my friend. I was so happy. Great. You know, you are not the right type of people. 10% stay, and I can have new one. <laughs> and the new one, they didn't start to eat raw. They were just accepting me in my journey, as I was accepting them in their journey. I had better friend. So you didn't jump into the water without knowing how to swim, but you already knew yeah. like some basics or you were studying before how to combine the diet. So there was no real struggle for you in the beginning or in the first years? Well, the pleasure, I have tried my best to find the pleasure in the food that I had. Um, for that, I didn't, I commit to raw food and eating like an animal directly was the final goal eventually. At that time, I was doing kind of gourmet stuff and mixing and having some sauce and all that. I was coming from the art of cooking, so I've, I was creating the art of uh, raw food, eating by my own. At that time, no recipe, no books, no culture. I, I was alone, you know. Nobody was talking about it. It's, it's not in fashion at all, at all, yes. So, even the book that I was reading, when the one that was available for me, the author didn't uh, commit himself 100% to raw food, just 80%. Mm -hmm. I read the book and I say, yeah, he, he is not, he's courageous. I will be more courageous than him. So for the taste, I try to make it tasty for this transition period that I knew it will be just a transition period without knowing how many years and all that. I was buying some food, as I mentioned, figs and dates, raisin, apricot, dry, that are very tasty. Putting them in water, make them soak during a couple of hours, couple in four, six hours, See the difference when they are dry, or just maybe three hours or two. It was playing. We, we should enjoy it. If there are no enjoyment, struggle will be there. There is another part, is the social things. If I was cutting myself up from others, losing more, more of my friend, before I was offering the food that I was cooking with sharing that with some of my friends, making kind of uh, dinner together. I tried, but it didn't work so much. I didn't receive a strong uh, reception to this idea. And the worst was my mother. Visiting her, she have understood that I will not be able to eat anymore the food that she, she is used to prepare. She cried. It is normal. I cry also. But I think we should not stay at that place. And it didn't it didn't change my relationship with my parents, especially her. She is more responsible of the food in more normal house than 
the father. She accepts and accept also that I could not share anymore. And I talk about my experience and eventually she will try. But after many years and on a small scale. So I didn't I I I, I make a kind of setup around me that it will be acceptable. Acceptable for others, or I'm um, accept to lose them and find some other one. You know, I, I make a setup where this that type of uh, diet will be comfortable on a long journey. Change at all level have occurred in my case, and I think it is the same with any any people that will adopt that type of food. They should expect change and go with that change. If you don't expect change, the emotion caused by the necessity of change will uh, cut the motivation to continue. Hmm. When I started to eat on the fruits, then there was a lot of feedback coming towards my lifestyle. And so it's like people are scared of it. They don't know what to expect, how it will be. And then some, some question is like, what? about protein or what about B12 is repeating. So, but if we don't talk about the general things, is there still something you were, you were, have your eye on? Something like, okay, on raw food diet, I should still like look carefully about the nutri nutritions that could be lacking in this diet. Yeah, how did you feel? Because you have so much experience, so many years, that you could even say, okay, I tried it for so many years that I know if it works or not. If I try it for two years, I cannot say, okay, this diet works. It's just too mm -hmm. little time. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> at that time, I didn't have much knowledge about all this. It was not a subject that I was studying at the university. It was not diet or nutrition or biology. So, and at that time, the all this knowledge was a bit more difficult to have. I just trust. I trust that if I've introdu I introduce enough variety, uh, enough diversity in my daily diet, daily also mean weeks after weeks and month after month, with the season, what is available, and trusting also my desire for this or that, it will work. Or the animals, it works. There, there is season, you don't have any knowledge about nutrition. No, but they go with what is, with what is available and there is something inside that they know, oh, now I should stop that. Maybe that eating that fruit or that leaf. They go on, on the other one, or well, sometimes they fast. And we have all seen also cats just chewing some herbs. Why? They, I trust that we have this inner knowledge that we'll find our way in it. Through time, it will not to one meal or one season or even two years, you're right, it is too short. It is too short, but on a longer journey of a decade or two, we'll find our, our way, I will select what I need. Sometimes I was overeating certain things. 
I didn't, and I'm not encouraged anyone to overeat. But maybe dates, maybe carrot juice, very easy to drink, it's very good when you have a good one, you know. One or two glass, one glass, it's okay. Two glass, two glass, begin to be a lot. If you go to three, it's beginning to be a little bit crazy. But maybe even if my digestion is not perfect, maybe I need something that is in this garden that I've grown in that soil and with that method. We need the trust of in ourselves. It is the base. And each one of us is individual. My girlfriend, she was not eating the same as me. And later on, she got pregnant. It was even more obvious that she was not eating the, the same at all. And we're sharing the same meal, but she goes a lot in, in this or in that. And then I would say, oh, it's kind of too much. I, not, for, not for me, this is not what I want. And this is why this is not just a diet. This is also a psychological, psychological journey, and this is a spiritual journey. And more you will do it, more you will realize that. But I say now, this is other level level of journey, in higher aspect, are integrated in it. So it looks like you find out how to navigate through the diet, but you trusted some some guidance. But some people they they may be in a state of some trouble, and then they may get lost. So as you said, it can be connected with emotions. It can be connected with the diet. Now it's, it's spirituality. So how a normal regular person who is not really connected with his inner self can guide through the life and really know what is missing or good for him. There is no perfect answer to that. Um, we can guess that that person that is not so much connected by eating raw food will become more connected. So, and more the month will pass, more this connection will be there. So, at the beginning, more mistake but um, by keeping on in eating raw, eventually less mistake. It is interesting when you say guidance, just before, you look a little bit high, a bit like if the guidance will come, you know, from over there. Maybe, maybe, but it is, it is there, you know, it is in the body. <laughs> as any other being on earth. You know, first, the, this first guidance. It would be a good advice to have some information of a clear raw food diet. There are many styles that are already available in, in this world. My style is not popular because I've never recorded these videos. So it is of raw nature as it is. Uh, but there is also 80-10-10, uh, the fruitarian movement that eat more fruit. Um, and there is others as well, you know, that are less known. I don't know the name in German, but in Germany there are some movement that they eat wild plant a lot, you know, and mostly vegetable and some introduce meat in that dry, uh, dry or fresh meat. In my case, I stay vegetarian all the time. I've done very, very little experiment with eating animal, and it was just a grasshopper one time, cicada one time, oyster few times. It's, I didn't want to go in that direction. This is another talk that we can have. 
but someone should decide a system. You know, maybe reading a couple of books or videos or, and study it and try it. It would be better if they are supported by some other of the community or friends that are doing the same thing than them. It would be easier to not fall in the pits of their habits or emotion. Maybe someone is perfect, but when he's depressed, then now you see it, now. the guidance have disappeared. Uh, it, it should be like that. It, it, it should be that the support is there by people, a philosophy, a philosophy that works. It is, if it is the philosophy of your friend that eating raw since three months, it may be not a philosophy that works. I'm, I'm talking about bigger movement with people that are practicing that since over 20 years. So it's, it's, it's a good idea. I've not done it because it was not available also. We were in a time that nothing was offered. I had to dig my way by myself. But it has not been so difficult for my type of personality. You mentioned that you were still on this path with your wife and you, you had the kids. So then this is also important because during the newborn baby, it's ah. it's different than for us <laughs> who are already ad adult. So do you have some advice for people like that? And even like, it's interesting that you raised up the generation of maybe first row people, right? <laughs> <laughs> One of the first. Yeah. I infused that trust in her and she reinfused it in me. We are trusting nature. She has given birth to the first one four years and a half. So not only the birth, but and the second one two years and a half. We have studied a little bit like the primitive we're doing or certain remote tribes in, in, in the world. And we base a bit ourselves on this imagination of this primitivity, this natural way to be. But all, all these primitive are not eating raw. So I was trusting that she will ask or find what she need and eat in the quantity that, that she need. Of course, we receive a lot of comment from the relative up to uh, doctors and all that. Sometimes we have to shut, yes, just put the earplugs. <laughs> and say, I don't want to listen to that. Oh, I listen to the thoughts that I have, the knowledge. We, we, we start at that time to look a little more carefully about irons and minerals and vitamins and all that. But because we are not specialists, just to mention something simple, you know, just a list of what contain iron like that. With so 100 gram mean make this number of gram of iron, for example. And we notice that, that uh, figs contain much more iron than dates. They are available a bit at the same way, you know. We don't have any figs in, in Canada, yes, it's not. A tree that can grow with our climate. So all the time, almost all the time, they arrive at Thai. If she want to increase a little bit her iron, because maybe her blood test or the doctor things, yeah. just have to eat more fix, switch fix than dates. And it have worked. 
Sometimes the level was low, sometimes it was normal. Irony was never high, but the BB was the color of a BB that had high iron content, according to the thing we refused to really test the BB. We have to use common sense, what is available, knowledge that is available easily. We cannot expect ordinary people to just go deeply in this subject, they are very complex. And slowly we can make our knowledge a bit more perfect about it. There is a lot of opinion. Later on, with some other video, we can talk about it. A lot of opinion about it. So they, they grew up as regular kids, right? Yeah, well, <laughs> I, I'm again a, a guy that came from well, my background is university, so <laughs> I took chart of how the head was hmm, developing the size of the head, the head and all that, of course, but you know, it's according to the genetic, but the head is, is very important. When she was born, her head was small easy to enter in life. But then, very quickly, the head become big. She was, she has passed from maybe percentile of uh, something like 30, 35, when she was born, to 90, within uh, a couple of months. She was the biggest head uh, even if she was not tall, she, she, my, my wife, she's quite short. Development was normal. We were reassured by the curve. <laughs> I think it's a simple thing, you know, to do, but why not? This is so easy. So we have done it. But accept that, you know, quite normal. Uh, you do have something, yeah, some some message for for others, maybe. Do you would like to share after that, that many years of experience on on this diet? Just trust and follow your nature. And the journey will be easy. Thank you.